She joins us live from Beaver Creek, Colorado. Hey, Bonnie. Good morning, Susan and Russ. And while you guys are all warm and toasty in the studio with your big mug of coffee, we're freezing out here in Beaver Creek, about 15 degrees, but it's all worth it here watching some of the greatest skiers in the world get ready for the Olympics. But you don't have to be an Olympic caliber skier to have a great day on the slopes, but you do have to be in shape. We got some ski tips from gold medalist Tommy Moe. He says one of the most important things you can do is to build up your aerobic endurance. You can bike, walk, or swim, but aim for three 30-minute cardio sessions a week. Build up to that slowly if you're just starting out. Then it's on to more specific exercises. One of my favorites is, is lateral hops. It's real ski-specific. You just get on a, on a nice uh, rubber mat and go side to side. And you can do small ones or you can do big ones. And they're really good because you can really get your legs warmed up before you hit the slopes. And it's a motion similar to skiing. Oh, yeah, it's just like skiing. And this is called plyometrics. Yep. Plyometrics uses your own body weight and a bouncing motion to overstretch and overcontract the muscles. It can really improve your speed, agility, and power while skiing. Another good plyometric exercise, hopping lunges. Oh, yeah. So you get nice and deep. So that thigh is parallel to the floor, right? Yep. You can go as deep as you want. And that back knee is almost to the floor, almost touching. But to do plyometrics safely, Tommy strengthens his muscles through traditional weight training. Strong muscles help protect your knees, joints, and ligaments from injury. But that doesn't have to mean hours in the weight room. These step-ups work most of the major leg muscles. Hamstrings, quads, and glutes, which is your booty. Yeah, step-ups are great because you get a good workout really quick. Now, a lot of people don't understand how important it is to train their abdominals before they go skiing. It's really important to have a strong stomach. It really translates when you're on the slopes. It helps with balance and coordination because it's the core. It's the center of your body, Yeah, right? it's the center of your body, and you have to have a nice, strong stomach because it keeps everything in control so your legs and arms and everything are in unison. And lastly, but every bit as important, flexibility. A regular stretching routine should be a major component in any pre-ski workout, at least 10 to 15 minutes a day, and make sure you're good and warmed up. The bottom line, take care of your body before you go up the mountain, and your body will take care of you on the way down. Happy skiing, and who knows, if you're really lucky, maybe somebody like Tommy Moe might invite you along for a relaxing soak in the hot tub. This is the reward, what it's all about, the upgrade ski. It is. Oh yeah, I could uh, use that hot tub about right now. You can bet all of the guys are going to be into the Opre Ski hot tubbing after this third day of competition here at Beaver Creek. Now about noon today, uh, mountain time, they're going to head out there for the Super G competition and Tommy Moe will try to uh, gain some more downhill points. He did win the silver back in Lillehammer. We'll see how he does today. So Tommy hasn't skied yet today, Bonnie. Has he had any of his races yet? He has done two downhill races, actually. He came in 29th yesterday. He came in 26th on Thursday. So he barely cracked the top 30. Mm -hmm. And you need to crack the top 30 in order to get World Cup. So he did do that. And he's hoping to pick up some more points today okay. in the Super G. And actually, our best hope today for the Super G is Darren Rawls. He is going to be one of our top guys over in Nagano. So we're looking at Tommy and Darren today. And overall, the U.S. ski team has had a bit of a bumpy ride here on the Birds of Prey course with only a couple of our guys, A.J. Kitt, and uh, did break the top 10, but uh, top 30, rather. So let's wish him luck today. Okay, Bonnie, we do. We do. 15 degrees. Get warm. See you next time. Thanks, Bonnie. I'm trying. <laughs> Still ahead this Saturday, meet a woman who's got country in her soul. Pam Tillis will sing for us.